One of the most popular WordPress themes just had a massive update and they updated all of their WooCommerce features from the shop page all the way through to the My Account page. And in this video, I'm gonna put it to the test. I'm gonna take the template that they give me that doesn't have these features applied and then I'm gonna apply them and you could see the difference for yourself to see if this makes Astra the number one WordPress theme. I think you might be surprised. And I'm I'm also going to show you how to get the pro version of Astra for completely free. It's so easy. So first, let's go ahead and see a side by side comparison. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you how I added these features. First, let's take a look at the shop page. This is how it looks out of the box. And this is what I was able to do with just a few minutes. Now, this is some of this is personal preference. So here had the features here on the left. And what I did is I am instead using this slide down filter panel, which I personally prefer. Then I added their new shop page gallery, which is a lot more sleek and modern. Here is the old one. You can see we have the sale badges as these big round things in the corner, but here we have a more elegant look to them with them in the top corner. You can also see I added variation and variation swashes to the single product. If this was a store I was using, I would probably have them on all the products that needed them, but we don't have that here. We don't have those variation swashes. You can see I further customized the info. I moved the category to the top and I centered it and I removed the word, uh, the, the review stars. That is just a personal preference. So you can see that difference there. Now let's look at the product page. So this is from the demo, uh, the product page right here. And so this is what I was able to do with just a few moments and enabling a few options. So you can see we have this beautiful image gallery. Now there's multiple images Image galleries that you can choose from. I really liked this because each of the images is much larger and you can see as I'm scrolling it, the info right here on the right, did you notice that? It's sticking so that I have that always in front of me. So we don't have that here. It's just kind of flat. Uh, and then you can see we also have those variation swashes right here. So I can choose the variation that I want. So say maybe uh, uh, blue and for me probably be large. Um, and now I have the add to cart button available. You can see we're also leveraging the express checkout option. I'm using Google Chrome browser. So it's going to show me GPay. If I was on Safari or an iOS device, it would show me Apple Pay. This, this is optional. I like having it there. And what's nice about it is it automatically picks up the button styling that is coming from the theme where most of the gateways that do this and add this button, it looks horrible and the styling is a mishmash and you would never want to use it. Uh, so I really like the way that that is right there. And then you can see underneath here, I've also enabled this uh, conversion kind of bullet point thing here so that you can give more of a message about this product or purchasing from you. So you can see I've got this free shipping message and these assuring messages that you are safe purchasing from me. And then I've also added this guaranteed safe checkout so someone knows the payment methods that are going to be available to them. You can see we don't have any of that right here. Now scrolling down, here is, I don't know why WooCommerce does this. It has this tabbed interface and I've always wondered, it's been a head scratcher why they do that. Now there's new product layouts for that information in this new version. And this is the one that I absolutely love. They call it distributed. So instead of hiding all that information behind these tabs, you can see it stretches them out and it's distributed. And I really like that. And of course you might've noticed one more thing. This is completely optional as well. You can see right here, it's this slide out add to cart. Now I chose to put this on the bottom. You can also have it stick to the top. And that's so if you have a long product page with lots of information, it's easy for that person to just click one button and add it to the cart. I got to say these improvements on the product page are fantastic. Next, they've added a fly out cart. And so when you click right here, it'll do this fly out cart. Or when you click on add to cart, the cart will just fly out like this. I really like this, but they also have taken it even further. 
So they haven't actually announced this yet, but it's going to be added to one of their bundles. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to buy it separate. It's called Modern Cart and check out this. It is so much more beautiful and elegantly designed and there's conversion elements right here. So let's just do a quick side by side comparison. So this is what you have, but when you add this modern cart plugin to your site, you get this instead. So let me just kind of break this down for a moment. Right up here, you see a free shipping bar. So you can configure that in WooCommerce, just free shipping over a certain amount, but this presents it in this beautiful and elegant way. It tells me how much more I need to add to my cart in order to get that free shipping. So what am I gonna do? I'm going to go and add more to my cart. Uh, and then right here, you can see each of the products that have been added to the cart are presented in a beautiful layout, including a quantity switcher, including highlighting how much they're saving if that product happens to be on sale. And there's also an option to remove it. And then if you have upsells or cross sales configured inside of your products, Check this out. You get this beautiful grid of additional products. And I love this. All these text strings are actually customizable. So it says even better with these. And I really love this. And you can slide and show different ones. Uh, this is optional if you don't want this here. Uh, and then there's this collapsible coupon code area. I really like this. Uh, and then right here, it's a proceed to check out. So just to show you one more time, this is the flyout cart you get. But if you're in their growth bundle, you're going to be getting this modern cart for free. They haven't even announced it, but I did want to show it because this thing is so beautiful and we're going to actually end up using it on the checkout. OK, so here is the cart page if you want to use it from the demo and it actually looks nice and clean but let's see what they've added here now this is what they call modern cart and there's some differences and i don't know if you're noticing them so first of all actually this would probably look better if i load it up with more products so i'll let me do that with some video magic here I am. I am back. You can see I've loaded up my cart and I also ended up earning that free shipping. Uh, so let's take a look at the differences. First of all, when you use a traditional cart, it doesn't actually make any sense to me. If you want to change the quantity, I just changed it to three. I expect it to change, but no, then you have to click on update cart. And this can be kind of a little bit of a pain in the rear end and a confusion point. But you can see they have added real time quantity changing and cart updating. So in real time, I can click right here and I can change my quantity and you can see it reloads and it's beautiful. Of course, I can also remove a product if I want. Next, you notice we have this cart totals box. It's totally redesigned and modernized and you can see as I scroll, I have the sticky option enabled. Also, you can see right here, it says proceed to checkout. They actually let me customize the text where right here it just says checkout. You can make this say whatever you want, uh, but I like to proceed to checkout. I love the sticky part here. And there's one subtle thing you might not have picked up. They have gotten rid of those horrible, ugly WooCommerce loaders, and they've added a modern skeleton loader. You're going to see it here. You're also going to see it on the checkout page. So let me show you the old loader. So I changed the quantity. I'm going to click update cart and you'll see this ugly spinning wheel. You see that you got that spinning wheel. I don't like that. It looks a little dated here. When you make a change, you're going to see it. You're going to see this elegant skeleton loader. You see that elegant skeleton loader. And that's going to be similar to what modern websites are doing. I love it. All right. So now that we've gone ahead and looked at the cart page, let's jump to the checkout page. So this is pretty much what all WooCommerce stores look like. This is the old checkout page and there's certainly no frills and it's not that optimized, but Astra has gone ahead and fixed all that. So right here, you can see returning customers, click here, have a coupon click here. That's actually the worst spot to have a coupon code. Um, and there's just not much to it. It looks very WooCommerce-y and uh, you know, I, I'm really not that inspired by this at all. So it doesn't look that great. Introducing their new modern checkout style. It looks beautiful. Now I've chosen to have the express checkout here because I like the way it looks. It looks very much like Shopify. You can uh, customize these text strings all that you want um, or not have it there. I personally chose to have it, but you can also have it uh, take up the full width up here, but I like it kind of tucked in right there. 
So there's a lot to unpack here. So first of all, uh, they have moved the email address up to the top, but it's more than that. They've added what's called real-time email validation. It solves a huge pain point for WooCommerce stores and a friction point when someone's trying to check out uh, they've moved that to the top and they've added that. So depending on how you've configured your WooCommerce settings for allowing someone to have guest checkout or forcing them to uh, log in and all that kind of stuff, it solves all those problems. It's a beautiful thing. Next, they've modernized the field label styles and the animation. So you see how it says company name and I can click into it. And then right when I start typing, you have this beautiful, elegant field animation. I like stuff like that. As I scroll down, you can see they have modernized the payments for this beautiful uh, accordion style layout like this. I really like the way it looks. Check this out, the order button. There's tons of new customization options. You could place a padlock here. You can customize the text again, and you can optionally add the order total to it. I really like that. And then let's move off to this beautiful order summary box. And guess what? When you have that modern cart plugin, it's gonna optionally add this option here that says edit cart. So sometimes a buyer might be here and they might wanna edit something instead of making them leave the checkout, watch what happens. You click here, the buyer can change anything and also add things if you wanted. So say I wanted to get rid of this, I'll click on remove. Now when I click on remove, watch for that skeleton loader. It's been removed from here and watch, I'm gonna click and there we had the skeleton loader versus that spinning wheel. I absolutely love it. Now here's another side I was playing around with all these settings and you notice there's this kind of a step-by-step -step indicator. This is also an option. I didn't opt for that in my implementation of these settings, but this is also an option that's available to you. And last but certainly not least, they have modernized the My Account page and I love it. So this is how I've set it up. So I'm not going to be able to show you on the demo site because uh, uh, it's not kind of set up for me to actually place a real order. Uh, but it's a big difference if you've ever visited one of these. So first, uh, you can have an avatar up here for the logged in users. It welcomes them by name. I like that. And then there's this new tabbed interface, but check this out. When I click on orders, uh, this is a test order that I had uh, put through and they have switched this kind of dated list view that you typically get from WooCommerce and they've implemented this beautiful card layout right here. And I absolutely love it. I think it looks so much nicer. Now I know that was a lot to unpack. I just wanted to show you the side-by-side -side differences so you can see them. This is what you, you get out of the box, but then and this is with the new updates that have been added. So I'm gonna show you how to add those updates right now. But first, I wanted to show you how you could get a free copy of Astro Pro. I thought people knew about this, but apparently not. You can get a free copy of Astro Pro simply when you sign up for service with Cloudways. They have a partnership together and you can get a free license to Astro Pro. Now, the trick is you have to go to Cloudways' website via a specific link. So if you go to wpcrafter.com slash free Astra, one word, it will take you to that special spot on their website, which will enable you to take advantage of this free offer to get Astra Pro for free. That link's gonna take you right here and you can learn all about this special offer to get Astra Pro. And then you basically um, click right here where it says get started for free. If you're an existing Cloudways users, just go here and add a new server and you'll see it as an option. If you're new to Cloudways, there'll be like a little sign up process and there's a discount code WP Crafter. And when you use that discount code, you're also gonna save 20% off of your service for three months, I believe. Uh, so I love Cloudways. There's a ton of value here and this is just additional value of free license of Astra. So what you do, you sign up for your account, you go here, you click on add server and you would uh, see right here from the dropdown, Astra Pro. Once you see that, you know you're gonna get that for free. Give it a name for the website and give your server a name. Once you do that, then you would choose the type of server you want. My personal preference is Vulture. And with this dropdown, I choose high frequency. You can go with the a two gig or one gig and then choose your location. My preference is high frequency. It's like a dollar more per month, but you get a lot more power. 
then just click on the button here that says launch now and it's going to create your site for you and your server. It'll take about five or six minutes. Then in the future, if you want to add additional sites to your server, you can host many sites on it. You click right here where it says applications, click right here where it says add application, and then right here, choose that server, that new server, click on add application, and then right here, you'll have that same option. Is this gonna be a website using Astra Pro? So now I'm gonna go through the customizer settings uh, to turn on the features that I turned on. All of those will be found in the customizer. So I'll go ahead and click on customize and then they're gonna be underneath WooCommerce and they're listed out here. So product categories, your shop page, which I'm on. Here you can choose your layout, but what I did is for the shop layout and the shop card design, I chose design three, which is this design here. I really like it. Then to do that filter panel, I scrolled down here. Well, first is how I uh, rearrange the shop card information. So I put the category on the top, but any of these elements you can show or hide or rearrange. So right here where it says toolbar structure, I added the filter right there. And then when you scroll all the way down, there's gonna be this option for how that uh, filter will end up working. The filter panel, do you want it to be a flyout screen or a top collapsible? I chose a top collapsible. And then there's some additional filter customization options. If you don't want it to say filter, you can change that text and how you want it displayed. There's also additional customization options in here that I didn't apply that are brand new. Next, let me show you how to do these variation swashes. It's very easy. Since not everyone wants variation swashes, they've released this plugin called Variation Swashes for WooCommerce. You'll want to install and activate it. And let me tell you, it adds features that would normally be in a paid plugin. They're adding them completely for free. Once installed and activated, you'll find the settings underneath WooCommerce, where, right here where it says Variation Swashes. This is gonna be for styling mostly. Now, if you have existing attributes that you use for variation swashes, we just need to add like the color properties and the image properties if you want that and just set it up for, but you only have to do this one time. So you go to products and right there it says attributes. Now this site had two existing attributes, it was color and it was size. So if you wanna create a new attribute, it's just standard WooCommerce, you give it a name, but you'll have these two new options here. The type, is it gonna be a label? So that's like for text, a color or an image. And then you choose the shape. So do you want it to be a square, a, a, a rounded corner or a circle? So if you noticed for me, I'm using a circle for colors, but I'm using rounded corners for the size, which is a text label. So if you have existing ones, you'll just wanna go into each one and click on edit. You can see for color, I chose circle and I modified the size so it'll be a little larger. I set that to 32 pixels. So you're gonna to wanna to go into each of your existing attributes and choose a, sh a shape and choose a size. Oops, and I can't forget right here the type. It's the color right here. So so for the color, um, I had to tell it that this is a color and I'll show you why in a moment or if this wash is going to look like a label or like an image because it's going to add that to each of the items. Next, for each of the items, we need to configure them. So for color, I'll click on configure items and you can see it adds this, the plugin adds this preview color right here and then for each of these, if you haven't used the plugin before, it's just gonna show a square with no color. So you'll need to go in and click on edit for each one. And just for one time, you've got to set the color for each one of them. Also, if you want to add new colors, you'll be able to choose the color while you're actually creating it. Now for size, this is a label type of swash. So that what's gonna be in that label is going to be the name of the term. So if I click on configure terms, and right here, let me go and edit one. Right here where it says medium, that's what's gonna show in the box. But if I just wanted to have it say M, then M would show as an abbreviated version. So you can see, I don't have it show the abbreviated version, I have it show the full one. And you can see how I have it in the box with the rounded corners, and I have these in circles. So it's very customizable, however you want it to be. Now let's look at the product page. Similarly, I'm gonna go into the customizer. I'll go to WooCommerce, and then this is gonna be the single product. So what is new is 
these product gallery options, they are beautiful. Now, my preference is this one right here. It's called the First Image Large. I love this style, but you might want it where all the images are vertical or horizontal. There's multiple options here available for you. Next, let's take a look at the single product structure. That's this information right here. So this is the breakdown of all these items. You can show, hide, rearrange, whatever you want. And some of them have some additional drop down options. So I enabled the extras feature and the payment feature. And you can see they have these drop down options. So if I expand the extras, I can customize the text. I can create new ones. When I click into an individual item, I can customize the text and the icon for that and I can have as many as I want but this is what they are by default and then for the payments I enabled this and let's see the options are the different cards that you accept so if I don't accept discover I can toggle that off or if I don't accept PayPal I can toggle that off and then up here you can choose for it to be in full color or grayscale I chose grayscale because it's less distracting uh, but you could choose default and you can see it just adds the full color look to them so I'll go back to grayscale grayscale and you can rearrange these of course however you want by just dragging and dropping them right there next was the product information layout right here so I'll scroll down just a little bit and it's right here under product description and so it's this new layout right here called distributed where it stretches it out although another interesting option that is unique is right here it's called accordion but let me show you what's different about this so when I click on accordion you get this standard looking accordion uh, but right here there's this option for the accordion to be inside of this area right here and you can see I have this beautiful accordion right here I've seen this a lot on e-commerce sites that I visit. It looks very nice, but my preference for this site is the distributed look. And then when I scroll down, of course, we have the sticky add to cart. I just toggled this on and had it set to the bottom. Now let's take a look at the carts. So this modern cart plugin, this has not been released yet. It's coming out very soon and it's going to be added to the bundle, the growth bundle that Astra sells. I'm pretty sure at some point it'll be sold separately as well. Once you enable the plugin to your site, it's going to be found under WooCommerce right here where it says Modern Cart. It's going to have the same feel as the Variation Swatch plugin. So you would basically, first thing you do is enable it. And if you wanted to enable that free shipping bar, I certainly love that. Product recommendations. If you want to hide the coupon field, you have all these options right here, including all of those text labels. So you can put it in the language that you want. You also have options here for the floating cart icon some additional styling options right here so if you want to change those colors how far out it slides out and on mobile you have all of these options right here and then there's also extensions so if you wanted to allow the express checkout options there you could do that as well now customizing the cart was so easy let me show you how you do it I'll first as well go into the customizer go to WooCommerce and then cart and all you have to do is talk Toggle this option here, enable modern cart layout, which is what I did. And I did sticky cart totals that so when you scroll this sticks, I did the real time quantity updater and I also opted to change the cart button text to what I wanted it to say. So you just toggle that on and put in the text that you want there. Now there's a lot of options for the checkout page. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. Those are found under WooCommerce and then checkout. So this is referred to as their new modern layout. So I toggled on modern layout. I chose to have two column, but there's a one column option. Here's the text to, or the options to customize the place order button down here. So you can change the text. You can have the padlock, the price, whatever you want. And then here's some customization options for the order summary. Do you want to show the product image? Of course you would. And then if you want to make it sticky, now there's some additional options here to have a, a two-step checkout. It's actually kind of nice, but it doesn't fit the design of this site. There's also an option here if you want to not show the coupon field, so it moves it down here, which is much better for conversion. But if you don't want it at all, just toggle that off and you don't have to have that on your checkout form. 
And there was one other place I needed to go for the field labels. And so that was found under miscellaneous right here. So the input style, I also switched that to modern. And that's what added that beautiful field animation. I really like that a lot. And then for the steps navigation, I showed you if I toggle this on, it's going to add that steps here to the top. Um, you can have that as an option if you want. And also I have it showing a number. You could turn the number off if you wanted and just show the text. So let's go ahead and turn that back off. And the very last thing is this My Account page. This is so easy as well to modernize. Let's go into the Customizer. This as well is under WooCommerce and then My Account. And there's a toggle here, Enable Modern Layout. And then if you wanted the Gravatar image, you can enable that as well. And for orders, the Grid View, that's what they're referring to this as, the Grid View, and I love it. And the last thing was this express checkout. How do you get this express checkout here and on the product pages? And like I said, the difference is most express checkout options, they look horrible on your site. And this one is actually intelligent. It's gonna try to match the button style and it gives you lots of display options, including customizing all of these bits of text. Now that is coming from this payment gateway, this Stripe payment gateway that you can install and add to your website. This would be a replacement for the Stripe payment gateway. I personally am using this one on all of my stores because it gives me the customization options that I want. Once you activate it, it's going to just give you an option to get it all set up. It literally takes under a minute and there's a step-by-step -step walkthrough process of connecting to Stripe. Now let me show you where you would find the options for that. It's going to be under WooCommerce and then click on settings. You'll click on payments and then it's right here. Stripe card processing. We'll click into this and here are your options for credit cards. And this is just some of the labels you may want to customize. And then right here is the express checkout options and you get this nice preview. So you can choose where you want the express checkout buttons to show or if you want it enabled at all. Uh, right there you can customize the the text for the buttons as well. There's also options to match the style of your theme. So here's a light style or a light outline style um, or dark. So you can choose that as well. There's button position options. So I chose inline. I really liked the way that looked or you can have it above or below. It's completely up to you and some separator text if you wanted. And then there's options here for the cart page as well as the checkout page. Now the checkout page comes with a ton of options. So there's two layouts. This one is the classic. This one right here is called custom. And you see when you choose either of these, you can fully customize all of the text strings right here. Now in the video description, I'll add a link to a full video tutorial on Cloudways. If you want to take advantage of the free Astro Pro offer and you want to know how to get the most out of Cloudways, I'll have a link in the video description box down below as well as right here. You can click on that and you're going to learn how to set up a WooCommerce site from beginning to end all of the stuff. So I went fast and went through it fast here, but in that video, I take a little bit more time and there's full timestamps throughout the video. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.